What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Noop1949. And this is episode four of Life of a Rookie DJ. Um, I'm going to be posting this at the same time as episode three, so we're really close to it. Um, It's gig day. Um, In episode three, I believe it was a week of preparation and really hitting it hard Thursday, but it's gig day. I have a part-time job and a full-time job. I'm going to my part-time job and I'm leaving there to get to my gig early. Now, what this tip is all about is preparation, okay? I'm gonna show y'all some stuff. So I got my controller packed up, my headphones packed up, laptop packed up, and my speakers are right there. That's it. What? That's it? Yeah. Because everything else that I need, um, my stand for my controller case, um, my speaker pole mounts, and all my cables and wires are already packed in the trunk of my car. Those things would be all right. It's, unless it's like you have excruciating heat, I probably wouldn't pack the cables. But the cables should be all right. And when I get off work, all I have to do is come home and put what, one, two, three, four things in my car, and I can go preparation man it's not just about preparing your music it's about preparing your gear and being ready to go you know the client wants me there at 245 I'm gonna try to get there at 230 maybe 220 I like to be early again just in case things go wrong so this is just a prep before the gig found a lot of good classic songs um, some good upbeat some some rock some pop some alternative some hip-hop and some kids music you know guided and directed towards kids so I have a wide variety um, as far as the list goes um, the main list I have is six hours of music total then I have an 80s list that's about an hour of music then I have a 90s list that's about three hours of music so I'm bringing well over 12 hours of music and I'm covering a large ground and some people are like why are you carrying so much music it's a two and a half hour gig but like I said before in episode one you want to have more music than you think you're gonna actually need. And beyond that, now that it's categorized and I'm playing songs, if someone asks me for a request, it'll be easier to find if it's within one of those lists rather than you know having to jump and search through my whole iTunes library and not knowing if the song works because that happens sometimes. Sometimes Tractor wouldn't play some of my files or I had a bad file and didn't know it, couldn't play the request. That happened in my first gig. But it was fine because it wasn't that serious. So, Again, these are just more preparation tips. Um, I've listened to the songs. I've familiarized myself with them. Um, what I do need to do, though, is have Tractor analyze everything so I can get the BPMs already loaded up. But I have so much music, yeah, I think it calculated it at like three days. So after this gig, I'm definitely going to take a little bit of a break. And probably as soon as I get home, just cut on my computer and let Tractor go ahead and start analyzing those tracks. So... Once again, this is only going to be part one of episode four because this is before the gig. So make sure you prep. Make sure you prep your gear and your music and your mindset. You know, I've talked to a couple of DJs and they gave me some tips and tricks and pointers. Um, I got my warm up songs ready because it's kind of a short gig. So I'm going to play a little warm up, you know, popular but not the main hits until about I'm going from three to five. 30 ish so I would say around 4 15 ish maybe 4 30 I really really will start pumping out those hits because when you get to the later end of the night you know maybe 20 minutes left people are gonna start cleaning up and not really gonna pay you attention so didn't want to make this video too long so I will see you all after the gig and I'll do another video reflecting on the gig and giving you more tips and tricks until then always be prepared man always peace